Okay, so welcome back to the uh, guestbook tutorial. And in the last video, we uh, had our query and we've inserted into the database. Now, um, what we're going to do is uh, what I didn't mention at the very end of the last video is uh, obviously uh, that I did mention uh, we're going to put out an echo saying your message has been. Uh, inserted into whoops, the database. So we'll say the message has been inserted into the data database. Now, by a, a, a minor flaw, if you will, is that the user can refresh and resend. Your message has been inserted in the database. But if we go back to our database and reopen the page, we see that we have two of literally the exact same thing other than the, the uh, time of course um, because the user is just refreshed so an easy way to I guess block this is by adding in an if statement um, by connecting to our after we connect to our database before we have our query is if we have uh, another query which is somewhat confusing uh, we'll call this one query get and it's going to be equal to mysql underscore query so what we're going to do is we're going to uh, uh, get data from the database and we're going to use the num rows function to make sure that the user hasn't already uh, sent that to the database and then just refreshed and sent it again so we're going to check for the existence of the exact same name and the exact same message so we're going to say select oops and apparently I can't spell select select star from and our table is called guestbook select all from guestbook where you guys can't see that where name equals and then in our single quotes you put dollar sign name and then you put and and then you put uh message equals and our our message variable so dollar sign message so we we're making a query and we're going to make sure that the user hasn't already uh submitted the the same message so they can't just refresh and now we're going to use the uh, num rows function so we're going to create a num rows variable and this is equal to mysql underscore num rows and then our uh parameter is our query get. So we're gonna have an if statement. So if dollar sign num rows does not equal so if it does not equal zero, which meaning uh or it does not equal one, sorry. So the num rows function either returns a zero or a one. A zero if nothing is found um or a 1 if something is found. So if something is found, it'll return a 1. So if our num rows is not equal to 1, uh, it means nothing has been found, which means we can then submit to the database. But if something is found, we'll just have an echo saying, uh, you can not, put nots in caps, um, you cannot resubmit the same you cannot resubmit the same uh, message and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna copy and uh, we're gonna control X or command X on your keyboard and which will after you highlight your uh, query and our echo statement so we just moved our query into the um, uh, if into our uh, if statement, sorry. So if we go back and we type in our name, we'll type in Bob, and our say we'll say, "Wow, what a great guest book!" Which it, it obviously isn't. It's not that great, but a simple concept used for. 
uh, advanced needs, I guess. And then we'll put in another line, uh, which I'll be showing you how to uh, format this later. So we will it will show multiple lines uh, at a time. And then uh, we'll just say really great and then we'll submit so uh, says our message has been inserted we'll refresh oh okay so our our uh, our message has been inserted but we're getting an error expects parameter one to be a resource no given Zero. Let's try this, and we refresh, resend. Message has been inserted. Refresh this, and it's still, huh? Why is it doing that? Mm. Okay, it doesn't appear to be working, which I'm gonna figure out why, and I'll get back to you. Okay, I figured out why it's not working. You might have noticed it, but I misspelled query get. So if we save that. And we'll just go back to our index page. We'll say, I guess we'll just uh, continuously keep displaying things. Uh, we'll just add another name. We'll say Tim. And we'll say Great Guestbook. Then we'll just leave that one as it is. Click Submit. Your message has been small typo there, it doesn't really matter. Your message has been inserted into the database. So, if we, uh, say we change that, and even if we, uh, just refresh without changing that and resend, you cannot resubmit the same message. So, if we go to our guestbook, you see that we only have one of what Tim put in. So, now I'm going to delete these, uh, duplicates. So we don't have them uh, cluttering up the database. There we go. Okay, so we've submitted our values, and it works. It works well. Um, so now what we need to do is uh, start to run out of time here, and I'm going a little bit more in depth than I thought I would. But I guess that's a good thing. Um, so I'm, I guess I'll stop this here. Uh, what we're going to do in the next video, and maybe two videos, I don't know, depending on how long it takes, um, is we're going to set up our uh, we're going to get all of our data from the database, and we're going to be displaying it uh, right in between these horizontal lines. Okay, so check out the next video.